Now today, I'm just going to do a quick demo on how to paint a cement rendered wall. Now painting cement render um, is no real different from painting any other wall except for uh, the nap size. Now generally with um, plasterboard or drywall, um, you could probably use a 12 or 15 mil nap. Um, and with this particular wall, um, it's not a real rough finish, uh, but it is a cement render finish. And I'll be using an 18 mil nap on these walls, which is quite sufficient. And obviously you can get even larger naps again. So depending on how rough the wall is, it will depend on how big a nap you actually use. So as I said, um, painting the wall is the same as painting any other wall. Um, I'll start from the corner. I will work up and back down away from the corner slightly. Now with cement render, it will take a lot more paint um, than plasterboard. So you won't go as far with each dip of the roller. Now the idea is to force the paint the best you can into um, the wall, because you'll find there's lots of little hollow sections, a little like pinholes everywhere. So you'll need to force the paint into all the pinholes. So what I'll do, another dip. I'll get plenty on the roller. Once again, I'll just start away from where I've just done. And work back into there. And using a fair bit of pressure on the roller to force the paint in to all those pinholes. Now don't be too worried if you don't get them all first coat because you can make sure you get them the second coat. Okay, I'll probably put a bit too much paint on here, but that'll be okay. As I said, make sure you force the paint into all the pinholes. Now, the difference is you can also get the roller and some of the bigger ones just hold on an angle and force the paint in that way. So, I've pretty well done the wall now. So I'll go back and lay this off. There's a bit of a section here that um, I can still see the, still see the existing color underneath. So I'll go over that a bit harder. Okay, there's still a few more there, but I think you get the idea. So now I'll lay the wall off like normal. I'll start from the bottom and go up to the top as far as I can and back down. And laying the wall off just gives you a nice even finish. So there we go. So that's just been a bit of a demo on how to roll a cement render wall. Now before I was talking about how I was using a slightly larger nap um, to roll the cement render walls. Now don't forget, don't use too big a nap um, because what will happen is you'll leave a really bad orange peel effect on the wall. So you need to use a nap size that's suitable for the surface you're actually painting. Now I have a couple of larger nap rollers here, um, but they would obviously be for slightly rougher walls again than what I'm painting today. So just remember, don't use too large a nap or you'll end up having an orange peel effect all over your wall, which you don't really need. <laughs>